Good morning, everyone. We got just a couple minutes to go. Hello. We're going to go live on Facebook. And we are excited to have you here today. Yay. I put my seat up a little now. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Let us know where you are today. Maybe you're on vacation somewhere. Maybe you're at home. Remaxers, tell us where you are. Where are they tuning in from, Kristen? Where? Can I see it? Yeah, you can see it. We got Rhode Island, Rhode New Island. Hampshire. New England is gorgeous all the time, but in the summer, oh my God, it's amazing. I want to get some good seafood. I miss that. Florida. Kelly, I'm going to come down to Florida and visit you. The villages. Yeah. My sister's in-laws live there. Storm City going on here. Yeah. St. Louis. Welcome everyone from all the different company owned regions. I'm so excited. Kristen, you have a following. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi friends. Yeah, absolutely. Goshen, Indiana. That's North Central Indiana. So good to see everyone. And, and hello to our Facebook Live audience. I hope everyone's doing well out there too. And Carmel, Indiana. Russ, you don't typically, you're not in Carmel. What are you doing up there? He's from, usually from the Southern side of Indianapolis. All right. Okay. Well, it looks like we have uh, everyone flowing in and uh, we've got, oh, who else? We've got Wisconsin, Massachusetts, Daytona Beach, Florida. Oh, I wish I was there right now. Hi, Cindy, welcome. This is great, everyone. Well, welcome everyone to our Tech Tuesday. We've been doing this for a handful of weeks now. We still have four sessions to go and we have lots of great sharing to do. I've got some awesome Remaxers that are lined up starting today and the next three weeks. We will finish up on June 30th. So it'll be the last Tuesday of this month. June has a lot of Tuesdays, which is really fun. And then we'll take a break in July and August and we'll come back again in the fall. But I cannot thank all of you enough for joining us each and every Tuesday. So welcome to the Zoom audience. Welcome to the Facebook Live audience. My name is Michelle Hoyt and I am a regional trainer for Remax Integra, which is an independent region of Remax. I officially want to welcome the Remax Integra New England and Midwesterners, but we also have an awesome group from the company-owned regions, Florida, Missouri, and uh, that mid-states region actually, uh, and St. Louis is part of the company-owned regions, and from downstate Illinois, that's where Kristen's from, and I'm going to let her introduce herself here in just a second, but I just want to welcome everyone, and we have a lot to share with you, especially on Max Center. So this session is Maximizing Max Center. And Kristen is one of the best creative minds in the Remax network. So I'm thrilled to have her. And a lot of you know her, you've seen her on Facebook, you've seen her bitmojis on Facebook. She's taught us all a lot on the creative group. So it's so much fun. Uh, real quick, I just want you to know we want to hear from you during this session. Please take note of the chat box, to take note of the Q&A box. I will be monitoring both of those while Kristen is presenting and sharing, and we will stop and pause, and then even at the end, take live Q&A, all right? So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over to our very special guest today. Kristen, please introduce yourself and tell everyone where you're from and all about you. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you for having me on. I am excited to be here. One of, I, I love what I do and I love sharing how I do what I do with all of you guys. So thank you for having me. Um, I am in Champaign, Illinois. We are getting some thunderstorms right now. So hopefully, you know, if you see me look over there, that's what's going on. Um, I am a full-time agent. So I, I am boots on the ground selling just like you guys, but I have a background in graphic design and marketing. So that's really kind of where a lot of my creative comes from. Um, I think I very quickly, when I was invited to speak 
in different offices learned how underutilized the tools that we have provided to us are. So um, when Michelle asked, you know, what I would want to talk about, Mac Center is one of my favorite things. We have so much provided to us in the network and not enough of us use it. So today I'm going to hopefully teach you guys some tricks in there and, and really how to use those tools that we've got. That's awesome. And could you share with everyone, Kristen, and, and by the way, I see Heather Holiday's on, so she can relate to, hi, Heather in Tennessee. She's been a guest of ours. So um, for individuals like yourself and like Heather, how have you become so well known in the Remax network and talk about how important it is to really go to the conventions and, and meet people and build that following? Yeah, so I will admit this is my going into my I've been licensed now for six years. So when I first started, you know, the expense of R4 and all of the different trainings, just, I was like, can't do it. I kicked myself for not going because the first year I went for the first time last year, this was my second year. I spoke last year, Bree and I had a class this year. I was on a panel last year and I, my, my business right now over half of my pending transactions are referrals. So just really getting to know, it's it's our family and getting to know people in the network um, just throughout the US, throughout the world really um, has been really, it's been really cool. It's been really neat to learn from one another, but um, I think just, you can't be afraid to just put yourself out there and I think you know, I started off by sharing in the creative group and then just different things got more attention than other things. And then the Bitmoji was born and that's kind of where, where it all came from. So um, it's networking is huge and it's a really big part of my business. And not only that, it really gives you the opportunity to brainstorm with other agents that aren't in your market about just various things and how different things work. And it's, it's been really interesting. And I think it's kind of helped me to coach clients that are from other areas on how the process works here, because it's so different from even, even locally Bloomington's 45 minutes from me and the way they do things there is so different than here. So to be able to have those conversations with buyers or sellers of, you might have sold a house in Iowa before, but here's how it works here. And I know, you know, just differences. So not only the building relationships, but the being able to relate how the process works differently in your market from other markets to your clients um, really kind of makes you stand out. Because right. So no, that's fantastic. So, well, one of the things is, tell us a little bit about your market. So I think a lot of you, what a lot of your peers say, and especially as a trainer, they, a lot of you come to me and you say, I know we have a ton of tools. I don't know where to find things. I don't know where to look for things. I'm busy. I'm trying to do real estate. I don't have time to play with technology all day. And I mean, Kristen can definitely relate to that. But right, so right now, tell us a little bit about your market and sort of what the, obviously there's been a lot of changes for everyone. And you know, what are you, what are you working on? What are you juggling between work and personal? And how do you make time for the Remax technology? So if you could share that with everyone. Yeah, so I think that, and I've, I've said this a few times in the last few days, I was in Florida when all of, everything kind of hit. So I think for me, it was a greater trauma than most people have experienced. So we had to fly home through the beginning of COVID. And so for me, I've, I've stayed home. I have been home since we got home from Florida. I started going out a little bit around the 1st of May. Um, and I've kind of gone out a little bit more, more recently, um, wearing masks, I bring booties, I hand sanitizer, the whole nine. But um, my market, a lot of agents didn't really have that shift. So for me, it's honestly been a struggle. And I share that because I know that there's probably a lot of people that it's been a struggle for. And I think it's important to know that like, we're not alone. There's other people struggling. But what I chose 
things to do instead of, you know, go out and sell and, you know, be out in the world was really focus on my business and what I could implement within my business and set up systems and processes. And that's where the network came in too, of just talking to other agents of how do you, how do you do what you do? What do you have set up? Um, what templates do you have? What can I be doing to really, when we come out of this run full, full throttle. So that's what I've been doing here. Um, and then just, I've, I've done a lot of Remax University videos. Um, I've set up a ton of just email templates and things like that. So, um, and just kind of focusing on social. So, sh so social took a huge shift, um, awesome. not only with COVID, but with everything else going on in the world. So I think it's super important for us to not be tone deaf of what the outward world is experiencing, but also we do have an obligation to our sellers to still be marketing their properties. So we're kind of in this, this right. yeah. balance of what do we do? For so. sure. So I'm um, just, for those of you tuning in, I saw a couple of people asking where Kristen is from. She is from Champaign, Illinois, which is uh, the home of uh, University of Illinois, which is an awesome Big Ten school, university town. So what's the population in Champaign? It's or Champaign-Urbana. I can't think right now. <laughs> fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, it's, uh, no, it's it's a really, it's a beautiful town, and uh, it's just about two hours south of Chicago, and uh, so, so for those of you that were asking. <laughs> so, all right, well, so one of the things that, so Kristen's got a great presentation to show all of you, but before we get started, a lot of you, especially if you're new to Remax, or maybe you just need a refresher, you're wondering, like, what what exactly are the benefits of Max Center? So I asked Kristen before this webinar, we were kind of talking last week and I said, so Kristen, I know for a fact, and I, and I don't even, I'm not even there with you that you get recruited a lot and you get called by competitors and everyone wants you because you're so good at what you do. You're, you're producing, you're dynamic. You are like the uh, ideal agent that someone, a brokerage would Thank want. You. You're very welcome. And I sure, I think a lot of people on here would agree that know you. So if you had to give an elevator pitch to, let's reverse it. If a competitive agent asked you, so Kristen, what if I wanted to join Remax? What do you have? What would be your elevator pitch about Max Center to that other agent? So I think not only, not only Max Center, but just our network in general is just, you, our support from corporate is incredible. Um, and just all of the tools that we have. And I think that that's kind of the biggest thing for me. So um, our, I think the ease of use of the tools would be probably the, the biggest point that I would make of not only do we have all these tools, you don't have to know what you're doing to use them. They are just super simple to plug and play and set up and, and get going. And there's always, support. So not only do we have support from corporate, but we also have all of these amazing Facebook groups that I think that we stand out from other companies that I don't, I mean, I don't know that they have them, but I don't, if they do, I can guarantee they don't have the level of support that ours do. Um, you can reach out to virtually anybody at any time and get an answer. So I think that that combined with all of these tools that there, there no additional cost for us. Um, there are a couple that, you know, Photofy is four dollars a month, which is a coffee a month. But <laughs> there's just they're just provided to us, included in our fees, and I think that that is really beneficial for us in our marketing and giving. If you're not good at marketing, you don't have to do it. You don't have to be because it's all done for you. For sure, yeah. for sure. Well, I'll let you get your presentation ready. Uh, and while you're doing that, I'm going to scan some of the questions. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, you're getting a lot of shout outs from all over. We got Boston, we've got Florida, Tennessee, oh. as we said. I know, lots of love, That's lots great. of Remax love today. 
And let's see, I think we're in a good place right now. So yeah, we're definitely gonna keep the questions coming. We love hearing from you, we love the energy. I know everyone's been stuck at home for a long time and we're all anxious to get out there. And uh, we're really excited to share with you. And it looks like you're getting some shout outs about your panels and your sessions at R4. So that's great nice. too. You have a, a fan club here for sure. Well, I love everybody, so they all know that. Um, okay, so here we go. Kristen's going to talk about her favorite things in Max Center, and some of it you may know about, some of it you might not have realized was there. So Kristen, take it away. Are you seeing my... Yes, you are in good shape. You're looking good. Now it won't let me move. Uh, click, done, guys. click on your screen, like just click right on the middle of it and then use your arrows to advance if you have to. Little technical difficulties. There we go. And I'm looking at the Facebook audience right now. Hey everyone, I see Justin Mueller, Christine Haynes, Christy Bergman. I are see Kelly, Design Center. Kelly Wood. I am seeing, yes, you are in good shape. All right, perfect. So Design Center is one of the biggest tools that we have. Um, I don't know if you realize that every time you put in a new listing or you have um, a price reduction or really anything happens that's a new status, you get a package emailed to you immediately of a um, social media post, a flyer that includes whatever just happened. So if you did a price reduction, it'll be a just reduced package. If you just listed it, it'll be just listed. So Design Center is where um, all of those then live. So you can see that you get all of um, these various these various tools that you can go in to do. And I'm just going to, Michelle, I'm just going to hop in and go straight into Design Center because I think that'll be okay. easy. Yeah, so Kristen's talking about all the different events that happen on your listing and from just listed to just sold to price reduction to open house. There's a new one that popped in there, Kristen. I don't know if you saw it and I don't know if you use it, but the coming soon uh, event. And I know that's controversial. Trust me, we know this, that in a lot of your markets, it's taboo, stay away, your MLS doesn't allow it, and we don't like pocket listings or anything like that. So that's obviously optional, but it is there. <laughs> we dance around the, we have coming soons here, but um, yeah, for sure. I, I know that the, the uh, controversy around it is quite great, so. Absolutely. And you know what, everyone, there's been a lot of brand new templates that have been added to Design Center, new color schemes that you might not even be aware of there. So Kristen will show you that for sure. So here is, um, so if you're in Mac Center and then you go to Design Center, this is the screen that you're going to see. So if you're, if you say, you know, I've never seen any of these email packages come to me, they're all right here in your, um, in your projects. So you can see it comes with, you can have a flyer that's in there. Um, there's just so many. When you get the email, Kristen, that's, that alerts you that there's a new event going on for you in Design Center, do you click and go straight through and use those? Like which pieces of those have you used? Have you done postcards? Have you done flyers? Do you make changes typically? When so you I don't. I, when I first started, I, I have my own designs now that I came up with. So when I get them, they're just there. Um, but I, you typically, you don't have to go in and make any changes. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the biggest pieces of advice that I give is when you're putting your photos into your MLS, make sure that those first five photos are really going to capture the audience's attention. Um, if they are five photos of the front of the house, one, they're probably going to get bored scrolling. And two, when it auto loads into Design Center, you're only going to see five photos of the front of the house. So that just sets you up to be able to just really use these automated packages and not have to go in and move photos around and all of those things. So, but you can see, I mean, the flyer is literally just 
done for you. It pulls your description off of the MLS. Um, That's the great. one thing that I, what was that? That's great advice to everyone. And the one thing I will say that I will go back, I do go in and change. It'll either round up your bathroom count or it'll put 2.1 instead of <laughs> two and a half. So this one's a two and a half bath, but you can see it says three. Um, so it rounded it up. But the other thing that I really like about these are um, they're just, you can, you can choose the style that fits kind of your personality. So there's just different um, social media images that are more, you know, there's so some that are. Can you go in, Kristen, into your listings again, into one of your listings when you get a moment and show them the new color schemes that are there? Yeah. And so there's these new, like there's the coming that's soon that's fancier and more script. Okay. Where do you want me to go? Uh, go into your listings again and just open up, um, up in the top corner there. The, yeah, that one. And then click manage on any of them. And well done on all your listings there. <laughs> Thanks. And then click on uh, create marketing package. So just so everyone knows, like a lot of times what happens is, and Kristen, maybe you have done this, you know how your seller will tell you on a Thursday they want an open house on Saturday and you're scrambling to get stuff put together. And you know maybe that's not happening in the current climate, but you can go in and manually create your own package. So as she's scrolling down, you can see all these different schemes that are there. There's even collection and commercial, but if you keep going further down, there's a lot more there. Cause some of you have said, well, I, the, the one that's the default is kind of plain. Maybe I want a little more color, a little more pop, but that's where all of these are located in there. So just a really good tool to have, but yeah, absolutely right. So when it comes to photos, uh, Kristen said it best about uh, making sure they're in the right order. So yeah. Kristen, have you taken advantage of the upload your own onto Design Center? I'm assuming so because you're such a design expert. I have. I just, so this is where Bree and Heather and Anna will all give me a hard time. Um, <laughs> I have spent more time in, so I used to create everything in, in PowerPoint. That's where all of my designs were. Um, yeah. And I didn't, I didn't upload them into Design Center, but as I've jumped into the world of Canva. I have started kind of playing around more with what we can do in Design Center from there, um, especially with being able to order marketing pieces from approved suppliers versus pricing them out locally. Um, love supporting the local businesses, but when sometimes those local businesses are three times what we pay on Design Center, then. Right. We, we got to also think about those things. So, um, but yeah, so, and then the other, I love are the websites that they create for um, the listings as well. So those, I just think are really sharp and they're really, they're really cool to, to see those. So yeah, um, absolutely. I'm sure we could do a whole session on design centers. Well, we'll we could. I know I'm like sitting here. I'm like, you're gonna, you're gonna get behind on, on time. <laughs> All right. We'll let you continue. Let's go back to, no, I don't remember what screen it was. Heather says her favorite part is how easy it is to create a new package. Thanks, Heather. It's, it's just so, it's, it might be, so the first time you do it, you might be frustrated because we're sitting here telling you how easy it is. But once you've done it a couple times, it's honestly mindless of how easy it is to go through it. Um, so don't get discouraged. That's my piece of advice. But here's all the different, there's tons of different styles of just listed and social media posts and just all sorts of different things that I think are just really they're really fun. They're really cool. Super trendy. Um, or you can go the not trendy route if you want to. It's really, I mean, there truly is something there for absolutely everybody. Um, and then this is the design center automation that we were talking about where it just sends it to you right away so that you've got it all 
already when it's as soon as you do anything. Um, and then this page, I'm gonna pop back out. I should just stay in my internet window. <laughs> this marketing portal is honestly the most underutilized tool that Remax has. So the marketing portal is where we have um, all sorts of digital and social images that we can go and share. Um, we also have, it's where you'll find the logos, it's where the brand identity manual is. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's a tool that tells you what our approved fonts are, what the um, colors are and everything. So in this portal, portal, you'll find logos and then you've got them for megaphone for first, for bouge. Um, here's the brand identity manual. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Um, and then all of the logos. So you just, you can just download them and then save them to a folder on your computer so that you have them to use. Um, in your pieces if you want to create them on your own or upload them into a program like Canva, you can do that as well. And then all of the... Um, Kristen, can you talk about if you try to do that on mobile, what happens when you try to download those logos? Yeah, so if you... I don't know what happens if you have an Android device. I have an iPhone. So if you download them on your iPhone, it's going to take it to a zip folder and then you have to extract it into another program. Um, I know they're working on trying to make that a little easier. So um, I would recommend downloading them from a PC and then just saving them into either a Google Drive folder or Dropbox um, anywhere. We have a, a URL shortener link. So rem.ax backslash logos is where we have a bunch of logos stored that we share in the creative group. And I'll type it into the thing um, when we hop off here. But the portals where, portal is where you'll find a lot of the national ad campaign things and um, just guidelines. And then the biggest thing is you have all of these tools that give you Remax branded, done for you, social media covers for everything. So you have YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and then you've got various ones to choose from of, you know, summer pools, houses, really there's, I know I keep saying it, but there really is something for everyone in all of these platforms. It's not just a one, one size fits all. It's not a, everyone looks the same, but, um, it allows you to share that Remax spirit. And I think that's one of the biggest things that I learned was creating a brand for myself within the brand. So I know that there's a lot of, um, you know, various ways you can take your brand, but keeping it consistent with the Remax brand has really, I mean, just elevated my business more than more than I could even explain. So um, people see the balloon and they see signs all over town and they automatically think that they're mine, even though they're not always mine, but it's, it's what I've done for my business that's really helped me out. So, um, and then you've got the claims and slogans of all of that print and stuff too. So, We've got it all there. It's Canada's in there too. It's good. So just so everyone knows, I mean, the, the brand identity manual is really how you are to represent the brand. You are to, there's a compliance process and protocol. Um, once again, I know Heather feels very strongly about this. And I know she's watching and Kristen too, is Remax is always spelled in all caps and a slash, no exceptions, always, always, always. The only problem is Facebook isn't friendly to that. You have to keep going back and renaming your page and renaming your page. 
and ultimately and eventually they'll let you do it. But just want to put that out there. <laughs> and have it go. So the other thing that you can set up in here is your, um, so I'm in the marketing tools portal now or tab still in the marketing portal. So we'll go back to the Remax hustle videos and then, but the bomb bomb social prompt is where you can set up, um, your bomb bomb to fa to post to Facebook for you. So it just automatically goes out. You don't have to write the copy. You don't have to upload any of the photos. It just, it just goes. I will say if you're going to set up the bomb bomb social prompt, don't worry about going in and downloading those, those social graphics because that's what the social prompt is going to post for you. So if you go in and post them and bomb bomb social prompt is posting them, you're going to double up. So that's all in there too. Um, it's, and then if you have questions about it that we haven't covered in here, there's a whole Q and A, and then there's, you can find more stuff in um, RU as well. So Remax University as well. So Remax Hustle is another one um, that is, it's just really, they're funny, they're really cool videos that there's we have the community response video that's going out right now and then you can create custom listing videos custom commercials the commercials are i think they're super funny um they are. They really and then your tools of remax agent you can send welcome mats to your clients so you just i mean it's super simple of just picking them out and then you just put in your information and save image and then it and then it goes so mm -hmm. those are really easy to do it's a nice personal touch for your clients but you don't have to recreate the wheel you just go in and it's already done for you um same with the the videos so you don't have to do anything it just you just put in your information and then the video loads all of your information at the end of the commercial. So it's truly a custom commercial. It's really, that was a big project I know. And it's, it's, I see them all over and it's really cool to see them. And then people see them on TV and then they're like, oh, I saw your commercial, but you're not at the end of it, but they don't realize that. So it's, it's just a fun tool that we've got there. So. And some of you I noticed have put them on your Bouge websites too. So you yeah. can, right? You can download it, upload it to YouTube, and then put that link on one of, on your Bouge website. Yep, and they all go there now too. And then, did I show where the logos were? Uh, yes. Um, or you can put it on any website. You know, that's just you can share that. <clears throat> so, back to the marketing portal. Here's where you'll find all of the logos and um, you've got the Remax logos and then you have the collection logos, We Are Remax, Children's Miracle Network. And then these are the same, the same thing with these. Um, when you download them, you have to extract them out of a folder. So it's just a little extra step, but it's worth it because they are, they're high quality, they are crisp, clean, logos and then you have your um award levels and then just balloon ones so that is i think all i've got in the portal any questions on that one there are questions coming in i was i was certainly waiting for the right moment so um one of the, pro so we'll come, we can come back to this, but one of the questions by Tracy is how do you upload the cover to the, your LinkedIn profile? It's no different than any other social media channel. You go to your profile and you um, have the option to click and edit that cover photo. So a lot of you are probably thinking, I didn't know LinkedIn had a cover photo, <laughs> but um, yeah, Kristen, have you done that on yours? I have it on mine. Um, I have a custom one on there, but yeah, it's, <laughs> They're super easy. You just download them and then you usually have to extract them and then you upload them just to your 
various platforms that you want to put them, but they're already sized appropriately for all of the, so you don't have to remember. I think that's one of the biggest struggles of creating your own content is that cover photo sizes change frequently or dimensions or they'll cut things off and that's, they think about it for us so we don't have to. Great, all right. Uh, there's a couple other questions we can hold, we'll wait for a little bit, but the one question I see that's on here is, is there an app for Mac Center? And I know the answer to this, but I'll let you answer it. <laughs> so you, what I do is I shortcut it from the site. So you yeah. can create a shortcut on your phone to take you to Mac Center, but there's not an app. Right. It's a mobile shortcut. And if you want, just go on YouTube and type in how to add a mobile shortcut on Android, how to add a mobile shortcut on an iPhone. I'm sure you'll find it. And what you're, you can do that with any website that doesn't have an app. The beauty of doing that too, is you get full access to all the tools. You get the desktop version and you get to do it all on your phone and you can do that all day long. And you can see it. It doesn't cut anything off. It's all, it reformats too the size of your device. So, cause I know I get on it on my iPad a lot. <laughs> yep. And so, it looks like Heather posted in that logos link in the chat box if anyone wants to grab it. So thanks Heather. Thanks Heather. <laughs> so the next super underutilized tool is the Remax URL shortener. And I know that this is underutilized because I have only ever had like one or two shortened URLs denied. So if you're familiar with something like Bitly, where you can make the link shorter, um, we have our own version of it. So it makes your website just rem.ax and then whatever you want the back half to be. So um, you can see when I created my design center, when I had the price reduction, it's going to send me the links to those websites automatically. So if I wanted to change this one, you just click the three dots, you click edit, and then I, instead of having this code, I can just put one Briar Hill circle, save it, and now that's my shortened URL. So when I'm posting on social media, I can include that short link at the end of my text copy. And then my the consumer knows that they can just type that little link in and it'll take them to that custom website for that was either created in Design Center or your Bouge site, or if you have your own website, um, it it's you can use whatever website in there as long as it's not already shortened. If it's already a shortened link, it won't let you because it can't double up on the shortening. But um, that's, it's, as you can see, I use it often uh, for just about everything. So, and then it gives you the analytics to track it. So let me find one where I. Yeah, that's really cool. So you can see here, um, and this is really good to send to your clients as data of what the traction has been online to be able to say like, hey, your 360 video has had 252 clicks. Um, mine's a little trickier because some of them I share in those global groups. So then they look at it and they're like, why is someone in Australia looking at our house? Um, but it shows you how many where where it came from and then how they got there. So um, was it a Facebook? Was it a direct link? And it's all referenced down below. So it's it's really cool. It's really easy to use that data for your clients and they really like seeing that information because um, it's a little easier to track it that way than sometimes, you know, the realtor.com analytics don't make a whole lot of sense. So I usually just share this with them and they're usually pretty pleased about that. So do you, do you talk about that in your listing presentation, Kristen, with them ahead of time? Or is it one of those bonus things you surprise them with after the home's listed? So it's, it's a bonus that I surprise them with. I explain to them that they'll get a custom website, but I don't explain to them that we'll track it. Um, 
So, and it's, for me, I use it to keep track of where the views have been coming from. So um, I don't, I have what, like one that I'll put in Instagram, one that I'll put in Facebook, and then I know where more people saw the listing at. So it's just awesome. All the fun. Um, and then we've got, I mean, if you're not using Remax University, you should be. Sorry, need lots of water today. So in Remax University, you can go in here and you can really dive into everything. I mean, there are videos for everything that we've talked about. There's, you can go into Design Center. There's Design Center Overview. So if you want to learn more about these, as, as Michelle said, we can do a whole hour just on Design Center. So if you want to dive a little bit deeper into it, I would recommend going into Remax University and watching the videos of how to do all of these things. Like I even forgot that there were digital listing presentations in there. So um, take some time and hop in there and just really kind of go through all of the tools. And then uh, Designs or Remax University, there's always um, there's webinars that are in there on you can you can honestly learn anything about anything just through that portal so it's it's a that's that would definitely be in my elevator pitch too of sure what sets us apart i don't think that you know <clears throat> i think we take for granted how blessed we are to have all of these resources but it's fun. I enjoy it. And then um, I think that that covers what's actually in. Oh, nope, it doesn't. So Remax News. If you are trying to think of something to post one day and you're just you're just at a blank and you're sitting there and you're like, man, I haven't posted anything in a couple of days and I really need to, you know, get something out there to my audience. We've got um, the Remax News Portal, which has all of these topics that you can share out. So it's got information for us agents, but then it's also got things for buyers and sellers. So um, you can just find whichever article works for you. And then you can just copy and paste the link and put it in your Facebook, or if you want to save an image and post it to Instagram, it's a little trickier there, but um, super easy, already prepared. It's already there for you. It's relevant content. It's helpful information for your buyers, for your sellers. So um, it's just a good way to kind of start a conversation on Facebook with, with your audience and use those tools that we've got for us. So here's the seller one. Um, there's often tips there, like four ways to prepare your home to sell this summer would be a good one just to say, hey, if you're thinking about selling this summer, here's four great ways to prepare. And if you need any help with it, feel free to give me a call. Boom, done, out. And I guarantee you'll have, you know, at least one or two people reach out to you. So that's awesome. Neat. Love it. Yeah. And then we do have a couple other tools. I'm going to hop out of this screen share. Seeing lots of uh, comments and questions and all of you talking to each other. This is fun. We'll, we'll ask some of those out loud here in just a moment. And then I'm going to share this screen. Sorry, guys. No, it's fine. Kind of went off the off the. Uh, That's okay. I'm seeing a, a thing to walk through it. Really fun and robust Facebook audience. So I'm I'm checking out those questions and comments as well. Heather, thanks for your help. She's uh, she's all over it. <laughs> Everyone needs a Heather. I know. Oh, Heather. She's awesome. So one of the tools that we also have are Remax stickers. Um, 
They are, you're able to use them in Instagram. You can add them wherever you can access Jiffy. So G-I-P-H-Y, wherever you can access that, um, you can put a, re you can access the Remax stickers. So they, you can also download them as a keyboard so that you can use them in your text messages. They move, they're motion, they're just another just fun thing to use with, I mean, I send them to other agents all the time. I put them on videos. Um, this is the second set that they just came out with a couple weeks ago. Um, and then there's another set that was the first set, but you can still access both. So as you can see, you can put them in your text messages to clients and it's just, it's just a fun branded little tool that we've got that I love the stickers and I just, they're just a fun, they're just fun. So, um, and then they're, so when you're searching for Remax stickers, it's, there have been so many that have been uploaded that are branded to individual agents and things. So if you search for Remax home with no slash, you can usually find them. Um, but you kind of, I've found that it's, it's different on different platforms. And I think Anna was looking for them the other day and when she was searching Remax Home, nothing was coming up. But if I went on the same platform and searched Remax Home, I was seeing them. So you just have to find what works for you and then remember whatever it was that brought up the branded ones. And then you have to pay attention because a lot of them um, are branded to other agents. So, I mean, you could share them if you want to, but I would rather have my own or just the Remax ones. So those are another fun marketing piece that I don't know that people know a whole lot about. And then there's also Photofy. So I mentioned Photofy earlier. Photofy is just, it's a, it's a genius creation that makes marketing and branding it to yourself so easy. So you have the option to um, use various templates that are in there. So you've got these ones, but then there's also just listed and just sold coming soon. Um, there's tons, there's tons of different artwork that's in there. Um, it's just, it's a really, really cool tool. Uh, the first 90 days are free. And then after that, it's $4 a month. So the other the cool thing about Photofy is that there's a ton of stock image imagery in there. So if you don't necessarily need to create a specific graphic, but you need a stock image for say one of those Remax articles that you want to share, um, they're all in Photofy as well. So that's an awesome tool that we could probably also do an entire hour on, but um, definitely check it out. And there's also videos on Photofy in RU. And then I think Heather, there's, is the Zoom still in the creative group from when they did the training? That I was a good session, so. by the way. And just so everyone knows, we're actually going to dedicate a whole Tech Tuesday in two weeks to Photofy. Actually, there you go. It might be next week. I'll double check my schedule. There's, a, there's three more to go after this, but we're going to have Joe Schroeder from Indiana on it, who went to convention, fell in love with Photofy and he's been using it every day for, and he's got a ton of listings. It's going to be fun, but yeah, Kristen, that was a great session. The one that you just mentioned. Yeah. And it, they have, so there's happy birthday posts. There's literally, I mean, literally everything in there. So um, it's a good one too, but this is great. And then the other place that I like to point people for if they need help with social or if there's something that they want to share is follow the brand on social media. So on Facebook and Instagram and just feel free to share what they share. I mean, consistency and, and brand recognition is huge and it's a huge part of my business too. So um, yeah, I would I would definitely encourage you to do that as well. So it's been it's, it's pretty cool. And I've, I've enjoyed all of the tools that we have been given. And I mean, even, sorry, I'm trying to unshare my screen because that's all. No, that's okay. There's a lot of questions coming in that I'd love for us to address out loud. 
That was yeah. awesome, Kristen. Thank you. That was amazing. So uh, just, I'm just going to kind of go back through the chat box a little bit. I'm also monitoring Facebook as well. And uh, so a couple of things about that. So someone asked about webinars on Bouge. Just so everyone knows, you know, for those of you using Bouge, which I think is a lot of you, <laughs> most of you hopefully, and uh, but what, just so you know, on Remax University, there's tons of videos, there's recorded webinars, there's a Bouge uh, Facebook group, tips and tricks that Jeremy Collins runs and Heather's been really active on there as well with websites. So please join those and you can find out a lot more. Here at Remax Integra, we are running a Thursday series in the afternoons on various features of Bouge. There's lots of education on that. So one of the other questions is, can you create the custom cover inside of the marketing portal? That's a good question, Kristen. So inside of the marketing portal, no. Um, but what you can do is take those custom photos, put them in Photify, and then add your branding to it. So um, I know it's kind of a two-step of you download it and you can extract them from your phone. And if you are a, you know, novice user, you'll be fine. But um, it's, I, it's a little tricky, but so Photify gives you the option. There's a ratio button in the corner and it gives you the option to size the various images and you can use the original. So if it were me, I would pull it out of the marketing portal, put it in Photify, add my branding, and then um, upload it to where it needs to go. Awesome. So a lot of good comments about the URL shortener, but they like the idea of using it, looks like in listing presentations. So let's see, lots of good comments about the stickers. Um, so here's one. So Sally's asking Kristen, I've been with Remax for over 25 years. I love all of this. My challenge is the technical aspect and how to execute. So what tips could you give Sally on how to go about doing that? So I think that just familiar, familiarizing yourself with the different tools that we have and just going in and maybe go in and play around with it before you need to. So I think that that's the biggest thing is when you have a new listing, you automatically are thinking, I've got to get this out. I've got to get this out. I've got to get this out. And it kind of adds a barrier of stress that we can't break through. But I think if you just go in and start just looking around and downloading the tools and just really clicking through Design Center, because you would be surprised how many things you already have created in there. Um, I know I had a tech training on it in my office and one of the agents logged in and she's like, there's all my listings. I don't have to do anything, which is accurate. So um, just go in and, and play around. And there's tons of videos on Remax University about it. But I think that having that and then just implement a plan of what it's going to look like for you. So when you um, have a new listing, just have kind of a punch list of what, you know, you, you list it, then go in Design Center, download it, and then you can schedule the posts into Facebook or do whatever, you know, you do with, with your content. I use the Facebook creator studio. So it is a free platform. It's, it's a lot like, um, it's, it's a lot like Hootsuite, but you don't have to pay for it. And then the other piece of that is it's owned by Facebook. So Facebook isn't going to hide any of your published things because you're using a platform that they own. Um, so you can go in and, and do all of that too. So if you know that you have an open house on Sunday, you can download your open house graphics from Design Center and then go into Creator Studio and schedule those out for maybe, you know, Wednesday and then Sunday morning so that you don't have to think about doing it. Um, and then I had one of our uh, admins this last week that was like, oh, well, I don't work on Sundays. And that's always been a frustration that the open houses aren't shared on Sundays because she's not in the office. Well, if you have somebody that only works Monday through Friday, they can go in and schedule it on your behalf. Um, and then it posts on whatever day and time you've got, you've got it set to, so. Sure, so a couple more questions. Thanks everyone, keep them coming. We still got some time. So Dawn is asking, how do you attach the stickers to a text message? 
So I'm without doing a live demo, I, I we could, <laughs> or I certainly could. I have the tools to do it. Um, I can show, project my mobile phone, but you want to go ahead and talk through that a little bit? Yeah. So when you download it through, um, I'm, I'm going to talk iPhone because that's what I have and Androids do not make any sense to me. I'm really sorry, Bob, don't hurt me. Um, they, you can, it's a, it's a keyboard. So, and you can, it's not a keyboard necessarily. So there's an app and there's the little bar where you just click the stickers and then they all pop up. Um, and then you just click them and then they go. It's, I don't know how to explain it without walking through it. Well, right. No, you did a great job. So the thing to note about those stickers is that, that they are animated. So they're animated when you use them in text only. When you download them to your phone and post them on social media, they are still images. So yeah. that might be something to think about. Um, so someone's at Cindy's asking, is photo five for social media only? So I don't know, kind of a general question, but I'm sure you can come up, you know, have a good answer for that. I think it's more geared towards social media, but given the um, ability to change the ratios, you could absolutely create flyers and things. The thing about Photofy is it's only available on your mobile phone um, or your iPad, but so it makes it hard to see everything if you're going to go and do something like a flyer. You could search certainly do a postcard and there's tons I mean there are there are so many really cool graphics in there that we don't have anywhere else so um, you I mean you certainly could use it for outside of mobile but because it's on your mobile it's a little tricky to create that content on such a small screen right so uh, Dan from Wisconsin is asking what is what do you consider the best social posting scheduler or planner system you have used? I know you mentioned Facebook. And by the way, is that only available through the, your business page? If you could maybe talk about that. And what are some of the other uh, social posting applications that you've used? Sure, so I used to obsess over when I should be posting, when my audience was engaging, and I quickly realized that it's not the time that you're posting, but it's the content. So people love seeing people. So posting pictures of you or your clients or dogs or, you know, whatever you can do to bring that into your business, that's what people really interact with the most. Obviously, we're in a house selling business, so we have to showcase different things all of the time. So I will pick, um, if I need to highlight a listing rather than saying, um, you know, I'm going to have my for sale listing that goes out and rather than continuing that and saying for sale, for sale, for sale, I'll post a picture of the kitchen and say, you know, could you imagine eating dinner and this in this, you know, breakfast nook, or I guess you would eat breakfast in the breakfast nook, but you get what I'm saying. Um, and then showcasing just various rooms of the house rather than just saying listed, listed, sold, coming soon, all of those pieces. So um, Facebook Creator Studio is where I live now. I used to use an app called When to Post. It's all one word, just when to post um, to kind of gauge where my engagement was, but I, I don't do that anymore. Um, I just post when I, I, feel like it and when I need to. So when I have a price reduction, when I'm putting it in, I'll post it. Um, open houses, I'll do, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but Facebook Creator Studio is honestly, and you do need a business page, it needs to be connected, but you can post it to your Facebook and your Instagram at the same time. I know some people are totally anti-posting the same post on the same plat on two different platforms. I do it and it works. So I don't do everything that way, but a lot of things I do that way. That's good. That's a great question. So Anne is asking, uh, Anne, I might need you to clarify this a little bit more. She's saying, what did you say about a big book and where is that? Do you know what she's talking about? Uh, could you clarify, Anne, what you, what specifically or what section you, uh, you typed in your question just a few minutes ago, but sorry, I definitely need a little bit more information. Let me switch over to Facebook really quick. 
Hi, Facebook audience. And I see there's a couple comments about the URL shortener and whether you should be using it on the MLS or not because branded versus non-branded. Could you talk a little bit about that, Kristen? So I've used it and it doesn't go to, it doesn't go to a branded site. I think that's something that I did not mention in Design Center. So you can actually upload your photos in Design Center and there's an unbranded um, website. So you can upload that into, into your MLS as well. Um, I've never run into issues with it. So. All right, that's good to know. And just for those of you, if you're newer to real estate, what we're talking about is the fact that having the word Remax or some form of Remax in a URL or inside of a link is considered branded. So that's why this has come up in question. So let's see what else we've got here. We've got, uh, so here's a good question from Angela. I have a question about marketing to your past clients. What do you recommend that works to keep you fresh in their minds and for them to refer you business through, do you do it through social media or print? Um, I think you've answered a little bit of that, but if you could go more into that, that'd be awesome. I do a lot of um, mailers. I do a happy home anniversary card. I do, I send them the Photofy happy birthday little cupcake graphic on their birthdays if I know them. Um, I don't reach, I don't focus on reaching my past clients on social as much. I reach out to them more personally because you have more of that personal relationship with them. So um, I also, you know, like with everything that has gone on, I, I, I wanted to know how everyone was doing and I wanted them to know that I was here if they needed anything from me remotely. Um, and I just reached out. So, and really, honestly, I just, anytime I'm thinking about something or if I see something that reminds me of a past client, I'll just text them and just say, Hey, I was just thinking about you and just wanted to say hi. So I think that, um, you know, but social is a good place to keep top of mind. One of my biggest things is target, not so much lately, but, um, when people think of target, they think of me because that's my, my second home or it was. Um, so just kind of maintaining that top of mind awareness and really, I can't emphasize it enough, but to be yourself on social media. So just be completely unapolog unapologetically yourself. And that's, that's going to get you farther than any post, any mailer, anything. Absolutely. So another uh, comment from Brenda on Facebook is, uh, why does it take so long for MLS to upload to Design Center? Is it just the MLS? It could be a number of things, Brenda. So if, what I would recommend is, well, first of all, um, we do gauge that. Like the, generally it's within 24 hours for the majority of the MLSs, if there's some special exception for some of you, because I know you're tuning in from all states then um, I would reach out to, if you're with the core region, reach out to product support. If you're with Integra, reach out to Integra support for assistance with that. They can look into that to find out if there is indeed an issue with the feed, um, but it should be within 24 hours or less. So just sometimes it's usually pretty quick. Just so you understand how that works is when the, you put your listing on the MLS, it goes, it's basically syndicated or pushed out to Design Center through Bouge. So it goes into Bouge and then it gets pushed from, which is basically remax.com, and then it gets pushed into Design Center. So there's a couple steps involved. Uh, sometimes it's technology, sometimes there, there's glitches, but please reach out to support on that. So let me see if any last questions here we can address before we go ahead and go to the finish line. Um, so last call for questions, everyone. Let us know. Uh, we've got a, a shout out from Ohio. Thank you from Ohio. I'm finally going to tackle this. So many tools not being used. Uh, so you're very welcome, Carla. We love having you all from all over the place. And uh, all right, anything else on here? Stickers? Oh, one person did ask, how do you personalize a branded sticker? I know that Kristen has uh, come up with a way to do all kinds of her own personalized bitmojis. But if you could talk about that, and then uh, we'll start wrapping up. Yeah, so the stickers that you're going to see that are branded to other agents, most of them it looks like have hired somebody through Fiverr to create custom 
GIFs for them. Um, yeah. It's not, I mean, yeah, they're really, really cool, but I, I just use what we've got. Um, my Bitmoji that I created, you can actually do it in Photofy. Um, and then I have a Bitmoji how-to video, which I can link somewhere, but it's, it's rem.ax slash Bitmoji how-to. So um, you can watch that and learn how to add your balloon shirt to your Bitmoji. I learned from Kristen too, everyone. So I watched her video on the creative group. By the way, please join the Remax creative group if you haven't already. You do make it pretty obvious you're with Remax with your, your cover photo, your profile photo, your work info. They're gonna ask you a couple questions. But um, yeah, I learned a lot from that group. So, and any last questions? Let's see, Anne is saying this session has pushed me to actually go in and explore the Remax portal. I knew there was good stuff in there, but had no idea it's there for us to use. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> and this is why we wanted to do this. Uh, so, all right. So uh, where can we find the video on Bitmoji and Photofy? So my Bitmoji video, if I type it in the chat, will it go? Yes. Type it in the chat so that it's displaying to all panelists and attendees. I could type. And while she's doing that, everyone, as we start wrapping up, please keep Kristen in mind for referrals in the Champaign, Illinois area. And uh, she's in a, a really nice area. So keep her in mind. As you heard, uh, referrals really work. Share them with each other. Think about each other and use Mac Center. You can find each other on there too. So Kristen can be found there also. There it is. So she posted the Bitmoji how to with the Remax URL shortener. I love it. <laughs> all right, so Kristen, final words of advice for your peers all over the country right now that are watching on using Mac Center and all the Remax tools. I think just use it. Yeah. I think you just jump in and do it. There's no better time than now and it's all there for us to use, so. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks for staying with us for a few extra minutes, everyone. Kristen, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, my fellow Illinoisan. Uh, it's so you. great to have you on here. And I can't wait to see all of you in person. Hopefully the convention will be good to go next year and yeah. everything's good. So thank you, Kristen, so, so very much. Thanks everyone for joining us. Facebook, Zoom, we're signing off. So have a wonderful day. Go Remax. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.